frequency is the number of repeating patterns or cycles per unit of time. In the case of an ultrasound wave, the frequency is determined by the number of oscillations per second of the vibrating source, usually a piezoelectric element. The top wave is a high frequency wave, whereas the bottom wave is a low frequency wave. This is how you change the frequency setting on a GE Logic P6 machine in the DMS lab. As you can see, the frequency increases and decreases as I turn the knob. On the Philips HDI 5000 Sono CT, there is no numerical value frequency displayed. However, using the 2D color optimization, you can toggle between general, resolution, and penetration. For a higher frequency, one should choose resolution. And for a lower frequency, one should choose penetration. Transducers are resonant systems, meaning that they operate most efficiently at a specified frequency. The resonance frequency of a piezoelectric element is related to the thickness of the element. In particular, the resonance frequency is the frequency that produces sound having a wavelength in the piezoelectric material that is two times the thickness of the element. However, this is a modern curvilinear transducer that can operate at not just one frequency, but a wide range from 1 to 5 MHz. This is possible because modern transducers have broad frequency bandwidths. The same factors that result in short duration pulses are involved in extending the transducer's operating frequency range. Broad frequency bandwidths are made possible by the effect of the damping layer of the transducer. When a pulse is dampened, a wide range of frequencies are contained in each single pulse transmitted by the transducer. This range of frequencies within the pulse is referred to as the frequency bandwidth. Heavy damping results in shorter pulses and broader frequency bandwidths. Pulses that are not dampened have very narrow frequency bandwidths. Another important element to consider is the impedance matching layer. The matching layer should be the thickness of a quarter of a wavelength. In transducers that have a wide frequency bandwidth, multiple matching layers must be present to provide efficient sound transmission between the piezoelectric element and the soft tissue since a single matching layer serves only one specific frequency. Thus, well-designed backing elements and matching layers allow the transducer to operate at different frequencies. Resolution and penetration are determined by many characteristics, one important feature being the ultrasound frequency. A higher frequency results in better resolution but poorer penetration. This is due to the fact that higher frequencies experience more attenuation because energy is lost as the beam goes deeper and deeper. In return, a lower frequency results in better penetration but with poor resolution. For example, deeper structures such as the liver, a decrease in frequency may be needed but in return resolution is worsened with the lower frequency as you can see by the following images. The choice of frequency used in a procedure usually is a trade-off between the frequency that gives the best resolution but also can yield sufficient penetration. These images show how harmonics can improve your image quality when imaging fluid-filled anatomy. Harmonic signals are created by the distortion of the wave as the beam propagates through the tissue. When a low frequency pulse is transmitted, such as 2 MHz, the pulse is distorted as it travels. This distortion is equivalent to adding harmonic frequency components to the traveling pulse. The second harmonic is identified rather than the fundamental. Therefore, if it was a 2 MHz frequency pulse, the second harmonic would be 4 MHz. 
harmonic generation is weaker than the fundamental beam. Harmonics are used to clean up images when there is excessive fogginess and noise. They are also used to suppress side lobes so clutter is reduced, improve the contrast resolution since the noise levels are reduced, and to eliminate reverberations from the body wall. Without harmonic imaging, the reverberations produce clutter in the image as demonstrated. With harmonic imaging, the reverb is weaker and the harmonic beam increases as the depth increases. As you can see, the image shown using harmonics appears cleaner without the reverb. Harmonics can be useful with technically challenging patients to clean up your images. These images taken on the GE Logic in the DMS lab show the appearance of the gallbladder with and without harmonic imaging. Codes are long duration pulses that vary in frequency. Usually a long duration pulse corresponds to a degradation of axial resolution. Coded excitation codes the amplitudes of the emitted pulse to pr improve sensitivity without degrading axial resolution. A chirp is a specific type of code in which the transmitted pulse contains more energy. The uniquely coded long duration pulse also provides improved penetration because of the variations in amplitude it is less susceptible to attenuation. A pulse compression component is then needed to decode the received echo pulse. The following images show examples of the improved image quality while using coded harmonics. 